Welcome back to another dyno video. Today we've got a 7.3 Godzilla swap car on the dyno and it's got a F1A94 Pro Charger on it. Doing a little bit of R&D on this car, possibly switching up the blower and gear ratios. Kind of going to see how much the Pro Charger can make versus another crank or gear driven blower that we have here sitting in the box. Sixteen seventy four. All right, so we made sixteen seventy four. What, what are we doing now? Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna do two baseline pulls on the Pro Charger just to make sure we have like a fair comparison. I'm not gonna change really anything in the tune up. I'm just kind of looking at all the vitals, oil pressure, EGTs, make sure everything looks good, like we don't have a problem. Um, so that was like a hundred and forty degree engine temp. The next pull, we'll try to do the exact same thing, 140, run it again. And then from there, we're gonna swap the supercharger and see if we can pick up a little bit of power. All right, guys, so to fill you in on what this car is, we this is a Chuck Bartholomew's car. Um, we race this in Ultra Street. It's a uh, 7.3 Godzilla motor. Uh, currently, we're running a Pro Charger F1A94. This car has been as fast as 442 in the eighth mile. Ultra Street's a super competitive class, so any advantage we can get that's what we're here trying to find, whether it be with superchargers or bell mount, engine changes, tuning, whatever. Uh, it's super competitive. We do pretty well, but we want to do better. Um, as far as like a history on the car, this currently is the world's fastest Godzilla powered car. Uh, we've been 695 in the quarter with it. And like I said, 442 in the eighth mile. So it rips. And we'll see if we can pick up a little bit of power. So right now we are gonna run another baseline pull and then go on lunch, let this thing cool down a little bit and then I guess swap blowers. Yeah, we're gonna talk to American Force because I think we might have to change the gear set in the gear drive because the step up ratios are different on the blowers. So we wanna give it a fair test. So I'm gonna call Ryan at American Force. We're gonna figure out exactly how we wanna do this to get the best, uh, best data, so yeah. After lunch, we'll let it cool down, rip it all apart, and uh, put it back together and pick up from where we left off. So we're getting all this transferred over. This is what we just took off the Pro Charger. Um, we had to switch the back plate on the uh, gear drive. This is what you know spins from the from the gear drive to make the blower spin. Little oversight on our part. The the blower shaft on the American Force is a little bit bigger than the Pro Charger. So I had to run run home to the trailer to grab the, the right blower hub so that we could get it all swapped over. So that's what we got now. I'm gonna put this guy on here, line up all these keyways. And 
and um, we'll have it all back up and running here in no time. Live. Do it live. Yeah. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. All right. So we made our first pull, and it was down. It just didn't smack the converter like it did on the previous run. So I, I didn't run it real long because I didn't know if there was a problem or whatever. So we lifted. Turns out we're down a little bit on boost from where we were with the pro charger. But just for science, we're going to run it a second time see what happens. I'm gonna pull a little bit of fuel out of it and see what happens, but I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to speed this blower up to get the boost to come up quicker. All right, so we're back day two, as I have a different shirt, and so do you, mm -hmm. but we left off yesterday, pretty much the blower. What was the blower doing? Is your, your better explaining. Um, so we're down, on a, we're down on boost from where it was with the Pro Charger, uh, partly because this blower and the pro charger have a different step up ratio for you guys that know blowers that's basically like the transmission in the blower and how fast you can spin the impeller versus how fast the engine speed is so we wanted to do just like a back-to-back -back, um, same gear ratio test just to see where we stand after talking to american force we figured that's where we would start so now what we want to do is we're going to change the gear drive gears which are these they go inside basically one hooks to the crank one hooks to the blower hub to speed the blower up. So we're gonna, I'd have to look back at my notes, but I think we're gonna increase the blower speed about 8,000 RPM and see if we can't get this thing to uh, to get up there a little bit quicker because that's what we need. All right, let's do it. So a little detour real quick. Eric made some changes in the tune uh, with the timing and the fuel. Huh? fuel for this new blower just to get it to spin a little bit faster. Um, but right now we are pulling the spark plugs, making sure everything looks healthy. Uh, there's a little bit of smoke huffing on that side and we did have an issue with a cracked head uh, before. We tried making this video before. So we're just making sure everything looks good. And then if it does, we're gonna go ahead and make another pull. But the blower slower at this point, we were at 1286, which we bumped it up to 1393. We're still down from the Pro Charger. The Pro Charger was 1577 at this point. So what's that? It's 200 from the purple. So we're either gonna have to spin it up more or, uh, or something. The shape looks good. It just, we needed to get it up more. I guess we'll pull the log and See how much boost it made. All right, so we talked to American Force about potentially spinning the blower harder, and we do think that we'll pick it up, but we don't think it's gonna pick it up enough to get it to where we need it to be. So at this point, um, Dan and Ryan over American Force, they are working on another revision for this to basically just send us a different blower to try. So we made some changes from the last time we ran this, and I guess it just didn't go the 
route we wanted it to go. So we're gonna wait a couple days, we'll get the new blower um, and see what it does from there. But that's kind of where we're at. Sometimes uh, everything doesn't go as planned and this is one of those times, I guess. Yep, so if you guys wanna stay updated, make sure you go on the uh, Facebook or Instagram because we'll probably be able to put out a little reel then of whenever we get the new blower that's updated and see, obviously, as Eric said, what kind of power it can pick up. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Come check us out at Yellow Bullet.